Well, yeah. I mean, dogs eat dog shit. I'm pretty sure that dogs eat human shit, too. I don't know about the story that you just told of the National Geographic thing. So there's one gas station in this area, and we are attempting to fill up. Apparently every truck in South America, more or less, from what we've been told and what we've researched, is diesel. So that's good. Diesel's much more prevalent here. But gas stations are not. So instead of having a convenience store and a gas station every 15 feet, as you would in the United States, <laughs> you have one gas station pretty much in every town. This is the smallest line for fuel, technically, I think, that I've seen since being down here. So we'll, we'll take a look at this gas station, which is really a windmill, uh, an odd Connex trailer looking box with a hidden pump and some dude comes out and pumps your shit. Hang I on. I think there's a big solar panel on top. I've never seen a gas station like this before. drive a car for this long. Um, just a little stretch session. <laughs> this is, this this road is actually particularly uh, bus more busy than um, the road that we did the border crossing. And by busier, I mean there's a couple vehicles that I can see miles in that direction. There's a vehicle that just passed us stretching miles in that direction. And this is the countryside. So it's just like every two hours we stop, stretch our legs, pop a squat, um, all that TP, you know, coming in handy just in case. The four doors of the vehicle coming in handy just in case. <laughs> Say hi from your bathroom. It's great. But uh, yeah, keeping it classy here. Well, you got a good flow, I can hear it. See, that's the beauty, you don't have a prostate. That shit just flows. You're making me thirsty and have to pee all at the same time. With banana or apple, though, is the question. Both. Both, I like it. Maybe Nutella with the banana and Montequilla de Mani with the um, manzana, the apple. I was just thinking that Montequilla de Mani would be perfect <laughs> with those things. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to take a nap. Watch the road, dude. <laughs> All right, but this is how I travel, right? People will make fun of me doing this. But this. Let me zoom back here. Get the, the this blanket. This whole thing, the blanket going. This is what it allows me to be comfortable and be able to move throughout spaces like this without the anxiety as much. I'm proud so, of you. Thank you. Knowing your body. You gotta know your body. Right? Yeah. First you gotta want it, then you gotta know your body, then you can make it happen. That's right. I'm knowing my body. You're doing it. Alright, I probably watched the road. We don't wanna run over <laughs> any more armadillos. We didn't do that. Almost. We uh, almost. Did we? Uh, we did almost, but okay. it wasn't almost. And then we went back to search for it. Alright, right. watch the watch it. <laughs> Alright, then stop. out of a bag and go like this. Do you want... <laughs> so
So we checked into, it's like 9 p.m. You wouldn't know it based on the light here. I'm gonna do this real quick and I'm gonna sign out. We're gonna eat dinner and go to nights. Day eight is kind of in the books, despite what the uh, sunlight would lead you to believe. Nine hours in a truck. We shared, I feel like we did pretty well. No blow ups, no, no fights. Um, we peed a bunch. We left our mark on the uh, southern Argentinian countryside. Um, and tomorrow is day nine, which we still haven't figured out what we're going to see yet. But uh, we're going to have dinner and Probably gonna go to Chile. potentially crush this. Back into Chile tomorrow, I believe there'll be a border crossing. Um, very exciting. So despite my energy level, it's just been hard being in a car. And, uh, well, you know, people drive. People who watch this probably drive, right? That's the thing. Um, looking forward to tomorrow and beyond. <laughs> what? Can I drop any more generic? <laughs> looking forward to tomorrow <laughs> and beyond. I don't know. Even my hair is off today. It hasn't been. I've been kind of giving you guys a certain level. And uh, it's not been there. So, any last words? I think you're killing it, babe. So, don't sell yourself short. Here's perfect. Can, you, perfect. can we say it all in Spanish, please? Tu pelo es perfecto. Ooh! Es perfecto. Tu pelo es perfecto. Perfecto. Y sí. Todo, yes. Todo fue increíble. Me encanta. <laughs> I have, I have an incredible penis. You heard that here first. Mm. Translation. <laughs> Totality. Bilingual. So we're leaving this town. We're heading west to... We're gonna be crossing over in about an hour to a border uh, back into Chile to a place called Chile Chico. We're gonna be passing through there, right? And then a small sort of villagey town on a lake there. So about a three, three and a half hour drive. We're gonna stay there tonight. And then um, I might do some editing. It's on, right on a lake. So it looks like the type of place where we can just sort of chill and kind of uh, maybe have some wine, cup of coffee, whatever on the water. This house here, which is no longer a house, it's, look at that, that's cool, uh, is started as, or technically is, one of the oldest houses in Argentina, you said? Or in this in region? This town. In Okay, in this town. Jeez, that's not nearly as impressive. <laughs> I no longer, I immediately regret trying to show you guys that. In fact, I'm gonna switch camera angles. I thought the whole country, the whole land. Which I was going to lie to you and say the entire continent, but <laughs> now I'm finding out it's just the oldest house in this small town. I think population's like a few thousand, so not nearly as cool. But, uh, yeah, so we're out here. Sorry. We out. Didn't want to waste your time. And never bored. Um, Got those instructions handy? Sure do. Yes. Yes.
What are you doing back there? Most beautiful bathroom I have ever used. Hands down. I can't I believe this. I was thinking that I should have started like an Instagram page solely dedicated to all of my favorite bathrooms that I've used on my travels. I have used some really spectacular bathrooms. This one might be, might be number one, if not top three. He, okay, so how this conversation started was my partner here, my, my pareja, and said we should have bought a shovel to have in the truck so we could dig shitholes. With a shovel, you're digging it down like in some campgrounds or some, not campgrounds, but like some places, it's like etiquette to get rid of, you know, bury it or take it out of there with you, which is what you said with the bag. My thing is though, with the shovel, you dig it, you, you fill it with your, your, your excrement. But then if you got a wife, if there's an emergency, I'm not like, what am I doing? Just pulling my pants. Like, I don't want to do that. That's why I have a nice little emergency kit. I got wet wipes right. and a waterproof so sack with some TP. you run out and then you say, babe, get the emergency kit. I throw what? it to you once you're done. Throw it to me. <laughs> well, we're, listen, do you know what kind of intense hours of training these maneuvers would take? We're over here. She's running like the, the, the 15th page in the playbook and I'm on page one here and she's like yeah button hook left three and out razor razor hut one hut two soft count no we're not doing that oh I'm just gonna grab the emergency sack I'll throw it to you oh you'll catch it on Never the fly I had to process anything so much ever okay let me outdoor. let me share with you right now you know what I'm gonna this I'm gonna be real with you for a second preparation is the key to success it's true. you need to prepare for everything <laughs> now can you be prepared for everything in life no but that's not an excuse some people use it as an excuse ah, you can't prepare for everything okay sure but that's that's there's there's shades of gray in between you can okay. prepare for most things Right? A little preparation goes a, wrong, uh, a long way. In my day pack, I carry a roll of shit paper. You know why? Because I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, I don't feel good. And I shit myself. So when but I don't have a way to wipe. So now I'm wearing fucking weird skivvies that are covered in skid marks. I'm not doing that. Okay? <laughs> so people in my past would look at me and go, we're not in fucking China. Why are you carrying toilet paper in your backpack? Mm, I don't know. Come to me when you get sick on the road. And you're like, mm, I wish I had a napkin in the glove box. Oh. I'll do you one better. I've got a sack of wet wipes and fresh TP, two ply <laughs> and single, just in case your preference is met. You've already broken into it. It's great. It's very useful. It's it's really smart. But in an emergency, you're not going to throw your day pack on while you're running out. Yeah, I am. Oh. If I have to pull over, that orange backpack's coming with. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, then problem solved. You should probably just have a shovel. In. Okay. Problem not solved. <laughs> Back to the original dilemma. Where does the used toilet paper go? Oh. You. In, I, you you uh, dig it in the hole because it's biodegradable. You need to add to your emergency day pack. It sounds like a little tr trouble, a little shovel. A little trouble. <laughs> I don't know what a trouble is. <laughs> and uh, a Ziploc baggie. A Ziploc baggie? Yeah, so you can throw away your... Most people just leave toilet paper out in the woods. You... Okay, thank you. Listen, yeah. we've been talking for four minutes and 33 seconds. <laughs> this just... is going to be the bulk of day nine video. <laughs> Okay, because here's what I was simply saying. It's biodegradable. Animals shit, pee, do whatever else in the woods. Die, right? If I had a little tea, used TP with some, Sorry, some human Nutella on it. For. Yeah, most yes. people just leave their toilet paper. Thank you. In the hole. Thank you. Yeah. I you, you can throw the rock over that too. <laughs> I'm not throwing a fucking rock on <laughs> that shit, Patty. Let me take a rock. Oh, bon appetit. I'm not doing Why that. Why bone up a tea? <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> we don't know what they do in different parts of the world. Also, yeah.
so we checked into our place in what's the name of this town? Uh, Puerto Guadal. Guadal. Puerto Guadal. <laughs> Are you asking? Because <laughs> I was asking. Uh, I'll put it. I'll sprinkle it down below. Checked into this place. I wasn't. I didn't realize it was a standalone dwelling for some reason. Because sometimes when we go on and book these things, it's late at night or whatever. And I knew it was rated very highly on booking. This place is unbelievable. So check this out. Here we are shooting photos from <laughs> our living room. This is our living room view right here. Um, there's a stove right here in the corner. We're just having a, enjoying a cerveza. And that is our view, our new fucking living room. Uh, let's see, let's check out the bedroom. I mean, this is it. This is fantastic. And again, the bedroom, same view of the lake. I mean, really? Can you beat it? I can't. Uh, so, yeah, this is where we're staying tonight. Super bummer, we asked about availability for tomorrow night. They don't have any. Um, I'm learning a lot on this road trip in a relatively short amount of time that once in a while it's really great to have a second night in the same place just to like recharge our, look at those birds. They're the long, like dick beaked ones. <laughs> Can I, I don't know why I'm saying that. Am I this crude all the time? Wow, that's a, that's a big fat no comment. Yikes.